hey guys welcome back to yet another video this is alicia's kitchen and in today's video i'll be making this extra crispy bacon and chicken sandwich and i'll be pairing that with a garlic and parmesan seasoned potato wedges so guys i thank you once more for stopping by don't forget to you know hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification and i promise you you will definitely enjoy today's video okay so guys, for my chicken sandwich, I'm using this low sodium chicken breast. Then I'll be tenderizing my chicken breast to the level of thickness in which I'm satisfied. Then guys, I'll be seasoning my chicken breast and I'm using the Maggie all-purpose chicken seasoning. Some black pepper. And guys, you want to season this to your liking. If you just want to add salt and pepper, I mean, whatever floats your boat. But I'm someone that absolutely love flavor. So guys, um, I'm going in with paprika also. And as you guys can see, I'm going back in with my all-purpose seasoning. <laughs> now guys, for my dredge mixture, I have one large egg and a quarter, about a quarter cup of milk. And that's the ingredient for my liquid. That's my liquid ingredient. Now for the dry ingredients, I have all-purpose flour, all-purpose seasoning, the Maggie all-purpose seasoning, black pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt. Now to coat my chicken breast, I'm going in with the liquid first, then the dry, and I'll be triple dipping that. So three times you'll be doing that because you want your chicken to be very crispy. Oh yeah, after doing that, it's going to be pretty messy. <laughs> you just want to clean up afterwards. So guys, in a skillet on medium heat, I'm adding canola oil to my skillet. And I'm going to let that heat. Then we'll be adding our chicken. So now that the chicken is in the oil, you're going to let that fry for about 2 to 3 minutes on each side because... You'll finish that off in the oven. Now guys, for my garlic parm wedges, I'm using this large potato, then I'll be cutting it in wedges. Then after you wash your potatoes, guys, you want to season it. And I'm using the Parmesan and herb seasoning. Then I'll be adding paprika, black pepper, and garlic powder. Then 
Then I'm tossing that so that each one gets coated with all that herb seasoning. So guys, for my flower coating, I'm using the Parmesan herb seasoning, black pepper, paprika, and a little bit of that chicken seasoning. And I'm putting my potatoes in it and I'll also be coating that with the flour. Then guys, I'll be putting this in my skillet, also on medium heat, and I'll be frying it on each side for about a minute. I'll be putting it in the oven after just to finish it off, and if it looks a bit darker, it's because the Parmesan cheese is on it. So guys, I'll be toasting my sandwich buns and I'm using the I can't believe it's not butter and I'm swiping the butter up on both of those buns and I'll be putting it in the skillet for about 10 seconds. Toasty. Now guys, this is exactly how you want your buns to be. So I'm assembling my buns. I'll be melting some cheese, cheddar cheese first on my chicken. So I'm assembling my sandwich and I'm using these lettuce. Make sure you assemble them like real nice because you just want your sandwich to look beautiful afterwards. Now I'm adding these large slice tomatoes red onions I love me some red onions and then you're gonna add your breasts Oh now guys, I made this sweet chili mayonnaise off camera. It's just sweet chili and mayonnaise mixed together. That is just it. That's just it, girl. That's just it. Sweet chili and mayonnaise and that's it. Okay? Then I'm adding my bacon strips and I'm just... Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Whoa. Look at that sandwich. It's huge. chick-fil-a who wendy's who guys this is alicia's kitchen welcome okay don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys turn in your post notification thank you guys so much for stopping by like comment and also share also follow me on instagram at alicia's underscore kitchen thank you guys so much for stopping by Mwah.